So this brings us up to the chart practice sheet. We're going to do four charts to represent this data graphically. Makes it easier to present it. So the first one says, using the above data, create a 3D pie chart that represents the total sales for all 12 months. Hint, don't include column headings for pie charts. So I'm going to highlight that because I know I'm about to complete it. What I need is the months and the sales. And if you notice in each column, I have selected the same number of cells. So my data is presented in columns. I would do the same thing in rows, the same number of sales. That's the key. I'm going to come up to the insert tab, go all the way over to the charts area. And there's this little cool icon that looks like a pie chart. I only have one choice. That's the 3D pie chart. I'm going to drag this chart up here so we can take a look at it. And if you notice, this chart could not stand by itself without these reference points. Because it's 3D, we don't really know if this is the biggest slice of the pie, per se. So if I right-click here and add data labels, I'm not going to spend much time on this formatting. This label doesn't look very well. I may want to change its color style so that they're easier to read. I may want to drag them off of the pie itself. But there's our chart. We'd, of course, give it a decent chart title of what it represents. Example, sales by month, because here's the month. So there we go. This is all I asked you to do. So we're going to take and drag that chart down here to the bottom. Let's move on to the next one. Using the above data, create a 3D bar chart. So probably a 3D clustered bar chart. Let's go take a look here real quick. That details the total dollar volume for each month. So again, total dollar volume. Here's dollar volume. Remember I said I have to select the same number of cells. So I'm going to select that. Come up here. Hit the control key hold while I drag here. Go to insert. This time I'm doing a bar chart. And I'm going to just pick this clustered 3D clustered bar chart. So I'll change that on your updated sheet. Folks, this is all I need to do on this one. But if you notice, I can answer the data pretty quickly. Which month had the least amount of daughter, uh, dollar volume? Dollar volume, that's funny. It was January, clearly. So there we go. Let me go ahead and highlight that. And we'll move on to the third one. The third one says, use the above data. Create a 3D clustered column chart. This happens to be my favorite chart that details both the average price and median price for houses for 12 months. So again, I'm going to select this here, hit the control key. I want the average and median. I'm going to select that. And I'm doing a 3D clustered column chart. C-O-L-U-M-N column chart. Go up to the insert tab. Whoops. Let me select the data again. Insert tab, column chart, 3D clustered column. There it is. Again, nice chart title would be nice. You know, something like average and median price by month. So there's that. I'm going to drag that down here and I'm done. Now, the next one says, Using the above data, create a chart that represents the switch axis of the chart created above. Hint, copy chart first. So all I have to do is come over here to the chart I just created above, right click. I'll copy. I don't need to create this chart again. I'll right click and I will paste. So there's the chart I'm going to work with. I'm going to go ahead and move this up so it matches a little bit better. There we go. And I can move this into place. There's my chart. Now from here, I'm going to click on this chart and I get the chart tools up here. Choose design tab and there is a switch row column. So this is the exact same data. It's just now we're grouped by price average and price median. So there we go. That's what I asked you to do. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. Say that. Now the last one says apply chart style 7 to the last chart you created. I'm going to click on that chart. I'm going to go into Design tab. 
That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's probably seven, is it? There's chart style seven. I've applied that and I'm done with the charts practice. Now, folks, this is a small data set, but you could go ahead and do a chart, find a chart for months, total listings perhaps, total listings to dollar value, anything you would like. So practice, 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 and take care.